Hi, my name is Filoka. I'm a graduate from Cal State Long Beach's nursing program, the trimester nursing program. I work at Arcadia Methodist Hospital in the ICU. It's a mixed. It's cardiac, surgical, and respiratory. When the phrase critical thinking comes up, what's the first thing that comes to mind? The first thing that comes to mind is someone who is a critical thinker. So that's someone who's to me, intelligent, and intelligent in the way that they're well-rounded. They get information from numerous sources. They try to build a complete picture, a holistic picture. For me, it's more so nursing. So we're trying to get all, all the angles of a patient and to address all their needs. Um, even ones that are kind of out there, say if a patient's sick, you try to be creative in thinking of why, how they got sick because not everything applies to every patient. Everyone's unique. So how do you apply critical thinking at home and the workplace? How I apply critical thinking at home is a little different than the workplace. At home, I still apply critical thinking by making decisions based off of uh, information, get, gathering information, such as if I need to buy a new computer or a new hard drive, I don't just go with whatever Amazon advertises. I do some research and at work, um, critical thinking is a little bit different. So I start off by kind of having a standardized procedure that's kind of well-rounded, such as I come in, I look at the patient's labs, I get report from the nurse, and from there, I kind of have a really good picture because I know the background of the patient, whatever's documented. Then I get input from the nurse that took care of the patient overnight and the past couple of days. So I'm building off of that. And then the next step is to apply my own kind of thinking, creative thinking, to make it critical, something that I add to it. So what are the benefits of critical thinking? Some of the benefits I receive from critical thinking, I'd say, I get a lot less surprises when making decisions because um, I know what to expect because uh, I think, think about things pretty, pretty well through, pretty well rounded. Like at work, for me, I see most of the benefit at work. I, get, I don't get caught off guard anymore like I was when I was a new grad. I'm more of a contributor to the healthcare team and physicians really look towards you and your opinion as the bedside nurse to help guide treatment because they're not the ones there all the time. And yeah, it's, it's really a working relationship and they can only, you can see how they value you as a member of the team if you actually know what you're talking about, if you put some thought into it and not just saying following protocol or just going off some script or some pathway that was already written. So, what advice would you give someone on improving their critical thinking skills? The advice I would give is to kind of create your own agenda on what you want to do with in terms of your education because I mean one you're going to college so you're looking for continuing education and because of that you want to actually make use of your education instead of studying something and then working in a completely opposite field where you can't apply what you learn that's part of the critical thinking process too what what are you pursuing why are you pursuing it and what next the what next part is a part of the critical thinking because it kind of shapes shapes what you're doing right now, motivates you to strive for goals, and I mean, you kind of just review it and say, why am I doing this? Am I doing things right? Maybe I should change it up. By honing your critical thinking skills to the best of your abilities and practicing the use of them in your everyday lives, all the goals that you've set for yourself are that much easier to achieve.